Hello, 10th grader. This is Ms. Natali Albalbisi, your history teacher for this year. I hope you are doing well, safe and sound, and I hope you are enjoying your vacation. Uh, in this video, I will discuss the material that we are going to tackle, um, or I would say the first unit we are going to tackle for this year. So, we are going to start with topic two. Now the word topic means chapter or unit. Okay. Title the ancient Middle East and Egypt. As for the duration of the course, it will take seven weeks. Let's talk about the unit as a whole. Let's talk about the description of, or let's provide a description for this unit. Now in this unit, you'll be able to explore a number of early civilizations and empires that arose in the Fertile Crescent, a region of the Middle East that became a crossroads where people and ideas met and mingled. Now you need to understand that in order for us to understand or to acknowledge the information that is being set in this unit, uh, as history is, of course, connected just like a chain, right? We are going to introduce um, the Paleolithic and the Neolithic ages include information about nomadic, pe nomadic people or the nomads. We're going to discuss these, this kind of information briefly so we can set a head start for, for this chapter. Okay. Moving on, of course, to civilizations. Now, a real-life connection between ancient Mesopotamia and current, uh, and current you as students in the Middle East and is the shared geographic and historical heritage. Many modern Middle Eastern countries like Iraq and parts of Iran were once part of the ancient Mesopotamian civilization. We're going to talk about that. And this is, again, um, how to connect um, the history to current times. Um, you will learn about their regions, rich history, innovations, and cultural contributions for this ancient, for, for, of course, for this ancient civilization, fostering a sense of connection to their, to your roots, because without history, we don't have, we will never have our present. Now, you need to understand that for each unit, for each topic, we have an essential question, and this essential question, it highlights the main ideas that are set in this unit. And from this essential question, we are going to generate more sub-questions that we need to answer and discuss during the classes. So the essential question for this topic or unit is how much does geography affect people's lives? And this is a very essential topic, I would say. Now, now through this journey, that revolves around the ancient Middle East and Egypt, that talks about ancient Egypt, uh, um, Sumer, Mesopotamian civilization, and so on. You will unravel the intricate tapacity uh, of history, culture, and um, civilization that define these regions as they explore the essential question, of course, which is what, what shaped the ancient Middle East and Egypt. So you will uncover the nouns interplay, geography, society, politics, religion, and technology. Yeah. We're going to talk about the essential, I would say, rivers, because these civilizations are called, the, just like Mesopotamia, for example. It's an ancient river valley civilization. And highlighting the word river because uh, the people that used to live there, they lived by the river for multiple reasons. We're gonna discuss them during, when we explain and understand the, um, the topic. Now, as for the assessment objectives, and these objectives, they revolve around the, um, I would say, um, the, the, the objectives under the, the, the subject, which is history. So by the end of this unit, you'll be able to Number one, identify the major causes of starting early civilizations of Mesopotamia and Egypt. You will also identify the main characteristics of the Mesopotamia and Egyptian civilizations. You will, you will be able to describe the main features which dis distinguish those civilizations. 
we were able to understand the influence, impacts, and consequences that those ancient civilizations left later peoples or us with. You'll also be able to locate the main regions and places in which the ancient Mesopotamians and Egyptians resided, and then understand the influence of geography on the start of those civilizations. You will be able to summarize the impact of religions, beliefs, and practices those people followed. Uh, you will be able to create charts showing the relations between history, geography, and religions, again, highlighting connections. You'll also be able to interpret maps in and around Mesopotamia and Egypt and explain why they were a good place for, a pe for people to settle in. And finally, you will identify the characteristics of the political systems adopted. Now, moving on to the subject integration, um, here, um, now the subject integration focuses on other subjects that align with this unit or help this unit explain itself, I would say. Let's start with the first subject integration, which is environmental science. Now, I'm going to talk about it briefly and then move on to the second integration. Now, ancient pollen and charcoal preserved in deeply buried, I would say, sediments in Egypt's Nile Delta document um, the regions or documenting the region's ancient droughts and fires and this is connected to environments or the environment that is set by them. So we have droughts, we also have floods, right? Um, um, I would say that researchers with time they want to see if changes in pollen uh, would actually affect ancient Egyptians in the Middle East, droughts recorded in archaeological and historical records. They, exam they examined also the presence and amount of charcoal because, um, because fire frequency often increases during times of drought, and fires, fires are recorded as charcoal in the geological record. So we're going to learn more about, in other words, how the environment affected uh, the people, uh, um, the ancient Egyptian people and Mesopotamians too. How it affected them, um, how it changed, um, um, how it stressed change in their civilization, their culture, the way they, they, they survived and so on. Now, of course, here you have a quiz that you can access that will help, help you integrate um, environmental science to this unit. The second integration is geography. And geography plays a very or an essential role in, I would say, in any civilization, right? So we're gonna talk about the Fertile Crescent. Um, um, we will also, what can I say? Um, we're going to talk about Sumerians, we're going to talk about Syrian deserts, um, yeah, and so on. Yes, we're going to talk in depth, don't worry. <laughs> Anyways, you're going to also find a quiz to help you integrate geography to this unit. The third integration is religion. We're going to learn about the religion of these people and as what I can say briefly about religion at that time is that they were polytheistic, meaning that they believed in multiple gods. We're going to talk about them. Um, the fourth integration is language. It's really important. Um, so, for example, the principal languages of ancient Mesopotamia were Sumerian, Babylonian, and Assyrian, right? Um, as for Egyptians or ancient Egypt, we have Old Egyptian. Uh, Middle Egyptian and Late Egyptian. So we're, we're going to talk about that, like the different scripts, like hieroglyphics. Yeah, they're really important to, to be acknowledged. Um, you also have a quiz here to help you integrate languages to the unit. And the fifth and the last integration is mathematics. Yeah. Um, now, the introduction of writing in Egypt um, at that time brought with it, the formation of a special class of literate professionals like scribes, 
going to talk about scribes. They are known for being living machines or printers. Uh, they, they used to write or to document everything that is essential. It's like documents on documents. Um, so by virtue of their writing skills, the scribes took on all the duties of civil service, like recording, re record keeping, tax accounting, the, ma uh, the management of public works, and so on. Of course, you have another quiz here to integrate mathematics to the unit. Now, let's move on to the unit's project. Now, for each unit that we are going to tackle, there is a sp specific project that you need to construct. For this unit, I chose fake news. So you basically, you research or you search for fake uh, historical fake news, uh, you present it, and then you provide us with the truth. Right? This is the brief, I would say, description of the project. So in this captivating project, you will embark a journey of historical exploration and critical analysis, as you will design and execute an enlightening awareness campaign centered around a significant episode of historical misinformation. Right? So it's more of an awareness campaign. Uh, you will spread awareness um, by providing the truth of a historical fake news. Uh, you're going to do that by spreading awareness through um, maybe social media, Instagram pages, Facebook pages, maybe constructing a website. We will talk about the details um, prior, of course, the project time of construction. I will provide you with a, a, uni, um, a unit project page with the information and the instructions, the steps, and the submission dates, of course. As an end uh, product, of course, you will present your findings and, yeah. Now, okay. Now, of course, after each unit, you need to reflect. It's an individual reflection, I would say. So I would provide you with, with reflection questions, yeah, where you will answer and examine your understanding of the topic, um, what areas of improvement you would focus on, uh, the, the, the areas of, of strength, I would say. Um, so you would actually navigate your learning process. So you have couple of reflection questions here that you will answer by the end again of this unit, right? Um, for example, how did studying the early civilizations and empires of the Fertile Crescent deepen your understanding of the historical and cultural roots of the Middle East? In what ways did the concept of the Fertile Crescent being a crossroads of people and ideas impact the development of the civilization studied? Can you draw any parallels to our diverse classroom community? And so on. Now, of course, um, here you're going to find the resources block. As for each unit, you have specific resources to go back to. I'm not trying to limit um, your exploration in regards to the unit or the resources. You can, of course, um, use other resources that are found on the main page. But I'm trying, I would say, uh, to help you find the information you need faster through these resources. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for listening and have a nice day.